What's up YouTube? Mike here from Techno GI and today I'm actually coming to you from Afghanistan. So this is kind of a channel update slash finish my review on the Surface Book. But the biggest thing is from now on of course my videos will probably be 720p due to the bandwidth restrictions. Um, so it's going to take me probably freaking three days to upload this video. But anyways, I've had the Surface Book now for a couple weeks now. So it's been it's traveled with me all the way from the United States so probably the first and only surface book in the country so let's take a look at it now and I'll give you my thoughts all right so here is a closer look at the surface book now this is not going to be like my uh, I guess typical reviews as far as the specs I mean you guys by now have probably seen and know all the specs uh, of this thing as far as um, the performance but um, I gotta say the performance is pretty good though I mean this is the 128 gigabyte 8 gig RAM model, so this is the lowest end model, so it doesn't have the dedicated GPU. Uh, but even without that, I mean, I think it runs pretty darn good. Um, the hardware, as you can see, is super nice, super thin, and uh, really kind of my favorite feature of this is the hardware. So a lot of folks complain about this gap, this hinge, but um, I, I kind of like it. I like the design of this. I mean, the premium build. It's fairly light. I love the addition of the magnet, so you can put the pin on there. Um, but all in all, um, hardware-wise, very happy with this thing. Uh, one kind of gripe, and I'm assuming is the more I use this, the easier it'll be. But um, the magnet, the magnet that holds this thing closed is, as you can see, pretty freaking tight. So um, I'm thinking the more I do it, the more I use it, the better it'll get. So as you can see, the other thing I love about this is Windows Hello. So uh, the hardware, awesome. Windows Hello, I love it. It's a great feature. Um, also the display, as you can see, very nice, very vibrant. Um, touchpad, keyboard, no complaints whatsoever. Um, it's got a nice glass feel to it. Um, I compare it to a MacBook Air, MacBook Pro. I mean, just as good. I wouldn't necessarily say better or worse, but I would say at least on par with it. Uh, typing, you got your chiclet style keys that are backlit. No issue there whatsoever. Um, battery life on this has actually been pretty good. Microsoft says that it can get about 12 hours, but uh, really, I think real world, what I've noticed is more closer to eight, depending on what you're doing. And of course, when you go into tablet mode, which is what I'll show you, which is one of the reasons I bought this, of course you hold this down, get to click, and bam, you have a tablet, which is super thin. But with this, uh, you only get really about two hours, maybe three, depending on what you're doing. So maybe you can watch one movie with this, but um, I do love having that ability. Um, so you can use this as a drawing uh, device and or kind of like a digital clipboard. And uh, of course, there's many things you can do with this. You can flip around, go backwards. So you can still use this um, as a tablet with the keyboard attached, which is good. Uh, there we go. Uh, so really, like I said, the hardware on this, love it. Totally a win. But however, uh, the software is still very buggy. Um, now I waited a couple months to buy this, so it's been out for a couple months, and a lot of the issues have been fixed, uh, but still, this is a first-gen device, and it's still very quirky on the software side. I've had to do numerous um, resets or restarts on this thing, because it'll just run like crap, um, be kind of unresponsive, so um, software-wise, it's been kind of a pain, to be honest with you. but. Still overall, I'm definitely satisfied with this. I'm not really um, a big gamer per se, but I have been playing Call of Duty Black Ops 2 from Steam, and it's played it just just fine, no issues. And of course you got the Surface Pin, which I like. You got your things just like you would do with the Surface Pro 4. You hit it, it opens one note. Of course you can take a screenshot, yada yada. Um, but the pin works as it should. Uh, I'm not an artist, but I'm uh, kind of trying to learn how to sketch, but really um, I have noticed a slight bit of offset or parallax at times, um, but I did recalibrate it, but um, 
for the most part, no complaints whatsoever. It does have a nice uh, kind of a felt tip, so it does give you the friction, which I think was missing from the Surface Pro 3 and the earlier surfaces, but uh, with this, uh, no issues. I think it's pretty darn good, actually, so no complaints whatsoever with the pin. Um, like I said, um, this is not the one with the dedicated GPU, so you don't get that extra graphics performance, but like I said, I've been playing Call of Duty Black Ops 2, no issues. Um, let's see if I can fire it up and give you a demo here. Alright, as you can see, I finally got Black Ops fired up. Um, and like I said, I've got my Xbox 360 controller. The speakers on this thing are actually really good as well. Um, no complaints whatsoever. i got it turned down, but let's see if I can turn it up a little bit. Let me get it started through the cutscenes, but all the cutscenes play as they should. Uh, but so what I want to show you is gameplay is actually pretty darn good in this. Now, if you're a dedicated PC gamer, which I'm not, um, you know, you may uh, think it's bad. But for me, just your novice gamer likes to play occasionally. Um, I think it plays just fine. I'm going to get to these stupid cutscenes. But uh, let's see if we can get the gameplay going now. Just gonna watch the stupid cutscenes. But um, like I said, this is a fairly new game, and um, I think it plays it pretty good. I've actually got this on 1080p. I tried it with 720p and it ran fine. So then I upped it to 1080p, and uh, it worked just fine. And I just killed myself. <laughs> but, um, it's hard to play this from behind the camera, and I'm not really a gamer, but let's see if this thing will fire back up so I can at least show you. Guess I wasn't supposed to jump. So as you can see, you look around, it's smooth, um, colors look good. Sounds awesome. Um, and using the 360 controller on this is pretty freaking good. And to me, this looks just as good as it does when I play it on the Xbox. As you can see, um, I suck at this, so I'm trying to get off the plane. But anyways, uh, you get the point. Um, for gaming, it works just fine. Um, wasn't much of a demo, but I can assure you that um, for light gaming, it's just fine. Like I said, this is from Steam, but if you try and play more of a modern title, and you're really better off buying like an Alienware or, or something uh, for that. But um, I didn't buy this for gaming. However, it does work for gaming. Um, let's see if I can actually make it to the deck this time. <laughs> so, I don't know why I keep dying, but I do. But anyways, um, that's the gaming performance. So let me try and get out of this thing now. I don't know how I'll turn this down while it's doing this thing, but really my only gripe with this really is the software because I've had to do a lot of restarts because this thing will just kind of freeze up and run like crap, but um, other than that, I, I think it's a win, but really, to be honest, if you're interested in this, I think I would still kind of hold off a little bit, because um, to be quite honest with you, I just um, there's still a lot of bugs that Microsoft has to work out. But hardware-wise, like I said, this thing is totally a win. Uh, but software, it's just not where it needs to be. There we go. If I can finally get out of this thing. So, with that, like I said, um, it's going to be harder for me to do videos now. But um, hopefully you guys uh, just keep watching. If you haven't subscribed, so go ahead and do so. And uh, I'll try and keep more coming. Like I said, I'm going to be limited by bandwidth, but um, I'll try my best to keep them rolling. Uh, like I said, so that was kind of a quick down and dirty review of this. I mean, overall, like I said, I got to say, this is. Um, I wouldn't recommend it yet. Um, I just. I still think it's kind of buggy, but. Um, I mean, I guess if you don't mind uh, waiting for uh, the bug fixes to come from Microsoft, and if you're okay with having to do the occasional restart, um, I think it's a good device. 
but still for the price I think you can get a whole lot more um, bang for your buck when it comes to this I mean this one was fifteen hundred dollars it's 128 gigabytes and 8 gigs of RAM so um, it, it's definitely not cheap and you can get a lot you can get i7 you know you can get the yoga for about three hundred dollars less which has got an i7 so just something to think about but it does everything I needed to do um, I mostly bought it for the pin so I, I definitely like it definitely think it's a win um, so anyways um, that's about it as always thanks for watching and I'll try and keep these coming